Hi everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging, and in this video, I will talk about the blogger stats. So, as you can see, I have logged into my blogger dashboard and click on the stats button here. And here, as you can see, I have got twenty one thousand one forty four views in this month, and I have got forty five thousand one thirty eight views in the last month. But this data is not correct. That's because this data will treat every visit as a page views. Like if you open a blog post and refresh the page again and again, then it will count every refresh as a page views. So we can't rely on this data. And if I scroll down and if I see that in the last thirty days period, I got forty two thousand page views. But if I compare this data with Google Analytics, as you can see, it is showing just three point seven thousand users. And if I go to page views. so i will click on report here now you have to click on the engagement tab here and select the engagement overview and it is the time period is set to 28 days so let me just click here and i will set it to 30 days now let's click on apply now if i scroll down as you can see there is 12000 views and 36000 event counts and if i compare the views it is showing like 42000 views so there is a huge difference between blogger analytics and google analytics so you should always trust the google analytics data that's because it is more accurate than the blogger stats and as you can see there is a difference between views and event count so views basically whenever someone visit a page url then it will count as a single view and if they refresh the page multiple time like if they refresh three times then it will count as three event count so now you got the idea what is the actual views of your website so you should always install the google analytics code in your website to track the actual page views so if you want to exclude yourself in this stats then you can simply scroll down and select this option manage the tracking of your own page views so just click on here now let's click on don't track my views for this blog so what you can do is it will save a cookies in your browser and every time you visit your own blog post then it will not count that page views so you have to do that in every browser that you are currently using so in this way you can exclude the page views count in this report but i always recommend you to use the google analytics data because it is more accurate so i hope you got the idea what is the difference between the blogger stats and the google analytics data and if this video is helpful to you then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging thank you